Hey everyone, I'm Leah Bachmeyer Kelly, a partner and lead attorney at Harris Federal Employee Law Firm. Today we're discussing the appeals process for federal disability retirement from start to finish. I'm going to guide you through exactly what happens if your application is denied by the OPM and explain what your options are and what rights you have. First, if your application for federal disability retirement is denied by the OPM, know that this isn't the end. You have the right to appeal. You can request what's called a reconsideration from the OPM and select one of three options. The denial letter will come with a reconsideration request form with these options listed. Option A. If you feel like the OPM has made a mistake, you can have them reissue a new decision using the same information you submitted initially. Option B. When you make the request, you can submit new evidence for the OPM to consider. This allows you to address any gaps or weaknesses in your original application, increasing your chances of approval. The last option, option C, you can get a 30-day extension to have more time to gather and send in more supporting evidence. Regardless of which option you choose, you must submit your reconsideration within 30 calendar days from the date of the denial letter. The denial letter will note the issues OPM found with your initial application, and it's generally in your best interest to submit more evidence if you've been denied. Once you've submitted your request for reconsideration, your claim will be assigned to a new medical specialist. It typically takes between four to six months for the OPM to make a decision, but this is just an estimate. The OPM does not have a rule or regulation that binds them to a particular deadline. Now, if your request for reconsideration is denied and you want to appeal again, you'll move on to the Merit Systems Protection Board, or MSPB, for a process outside of the OPM's purview. Appeals to the MSPB must be filed within 30 days of receiving your reconsideration denial. The MSPB will assign an administrative law judge to oversee your case, and you can elect to have a hearing over the phone or on video. Hearings may involve testimony from medical providers, coworkers, family, friends, and representatives from the OPM. If an MSPB appeal is unsuccessful or if it's not filed in time, you can reapply for federal disability retirement with an entirely new application if you're still employed by your federal agency and there's a change in your circumstances. This may mean that your medical condition gets worse, an accommodation was taken away, or a new medical condition has arisen. If you're denied at MSPB and want to appeal that particular denial, you have two options. First, you can request to have your case reviewed by the full MSPB panel in Washington, D.C., which is called a petition for review. Second, you can have your request taken to the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Federal Circuit to make a decision. Strict rules apply in these stages and it's highly recommended to have an attorney that's familiar with the court's regulations. Regardless of where you are in the process, we're here to come alongside you. I know firsthand that the Federal Disability Retirement Appeals process is complex and having an experienced and dedicated legal team to guide you through the process is critical. We've helped more than 8,000 federal employees just like you successfully claim their retirement benefits at a 99% success rate. Don't do this alone. Click on the link below to book your free consultation with us today. The peace of mind you deserve is waiting. Thank you for watching.